Greetings and welcome to The Prime Directive. I'm your host, Jeffico. My co-host is always Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hello. Joining us today is also Sean. Say hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Yeah. All right, so today we have some casting news for you. Uh, Jeff, why don't you tell us about a little switch up they've got going on? So Shazad Latif has been cast as Lieutenant Tyler. He's no longer Klingon Commander Cole. And that's now going to be played by Kenneth Mitchell, most recently from the TV show Frequency. Um, Chris, what are your thoughts on hearing this recasting? Well, it's certainly a pretty big career change going from a Klingon to Starfleet officer. Gets to save hours in the makeup chair. Yeah, that's usually one of the biggest complaints about uh, playing an alien on Star Trek, eight hour shifts on the makeup chair. Mm -hmm. And this isn't the first time we've seen um, actors change roles, although usually that's before filming gets started. Um, I believe uh, Denise Crosby and Marina Sirtis originally auditioned uh, for each other's roles and then got swapped around. And uh, we had a different act actress playing Captain Janeway uh, initially, and that was uh, swapped out very, very close to when it actually aired. Yeah, I think they were already filming when they uh, decided to make the change. Mm -hmm. The Cardassians claim they forced the Maquis ship into a plasma storm where it was destroyed. But our probes haven't picked up any debris. A plasma storm might not leave any debris. We'd still be able to pick up a resonance trace from the warp core. Captain, I'm reading a coherent tetrion beam scanning us. Origin, Mr. King. It's also possible that this is another ball drop by CBS. I mean, it could be another debacle, like with Lieutenant Commander Rainsford played by Sonequa Martin, and now she's going to be called Officer Michael Burnham. Um, like, so much for working up the ranks. One death now, and she's a captain, because she's a first officer now. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they've been filming since January. That's been like four months of filming now, almost five. They've got six or seven Klingons cast, so you figure those guys are going to be a pretty big part of the story. I mean, maybe they just didn't, uh, this was always the plan from the beginning. Uh, they don't release this kind of information. I mean, it's hard to hard to know. Yeah, they're probably just holding back a lot of information on us. Oh, so you're saying this was actually done months ago, but they just never announced it? Decided not to correct us. Okay. Like, I don't know why they would have corrected us on the uh, main character's name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, Rainsford was a cooler name than Burnham. Yeah. Okay. Then I'd like to legally change my name. I'm going to give you the only name you spelled correctly. From this day forward, your name shall be... Max Power? Dynamic, isn't it? I love it, Max. You changed your name without consulting me? Uh, next we have Claire McConnell, a Toronto-based actress who regularly performs sketch and improv shows, uh, and she's booked all the way till May, which is kind of interesting, so she's just starting out. Uh, hopefully this helps launch her career, but she'll be playing a Klingon leader named Dennis, which uh, disappoints me, but that kind of uh, last name, I was kind of hoping we'd get another Scottish accent. Well, Scotty, now you've done it. Aye, the haggis is in the fire for sure, but I'll not lower my defenses on the word of that mealy-mouthed gentleman down below. That Poppin' Jay Fox went down a couple of minutes ago. The best diplomat I know is a fully activated phaser bank. Well, now, what do you think of that? Damon Runyon will be playing another Klingon leader uh, named Ujili. Uh, this actor has done a lot of TV over the past ten years, uh, including six episodes of The Next Generation. Uh, Degrassi, that is. Mm -hmm. I wonder uh, if there's going to be any older Klingons, because it seems like a lot of the casting's all been younger Klingons. There's a council, there's generally like you know, the elders. They might have a civil war or the brand new council, hard to say. Could have wiped them all out. Yeah. yeah. Could just be doing a Trek 09 thing where, you know, everyone's young for no reason. The casting I'm most excited for is Rekha Sharma, who's going to be playing Commander Landry. She'll be the security officer on the Starship Discovery. And this will be the first female tactical officer we had since Tasha Yar, I think. Yeah, that's called progression, people. <laughs> uh, she's a local Vancouver actress, which is kind of cool having a local girl in there. Um, she's appeared in such shows as Smallville and Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, and I think recently she was in the uh, fan series Star Trek Continues. That's cool because Sulu was in a fan series in the 70s that Gene yeah. Runbury supported to help grow the brand. So. Stay. We have to fight. The Archangels, the only thing they understand is violence. This ends in blood. There is no other way. It's them 
or us. We haven't even tried talking to them. Charlie. Who asked you? Jeff, would you care to address these reports of delay we've been getting? I think they're just old reports resurfacing. Um, I mean, there's the possibility of the writer's strike, which actually would delay us again, but they've never given us an actual start date, just a rough estimate. That's why CBS needs to actually release like information about the series and not stop all these leaks. Like, when does the show actually start? What's it even about? Do we even really know? <laughs> no, Officially? but uh, you know, eventually we're gonna get this show and we'll just do what we've always done. Yeah, Star Trek fans, we've always had our old series to go through. Um, we've got the surrounding content, so. Uh, that's all our uh, casting news for Star Trek Discovery. In eager anticipation of Discovery's pilot, join us next episode when we rank and review all previous Star Trek pilot episodes. And as always, thanks for watching. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> really? I was just ready to go. How could you break into laughter for no reason there? Did an image flash in your mind of playing with a childhood toy that wouldn't fly, and your father's like, don't give up, son. Don't give up. <laughs> Can't and then we'll, we'll keep the going wind. back to that image to inspire you later in life. <laughs> can't be afraid of the wind. Yeah. Okay. I can't do it. Yes, you can. You can't be afraid of the wind. Learn to trust it. <laughs>